Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and today I want to share with you my 2018 Fall Bath & Body Works haul. I did go out there and got a few of the items that I wanted. I'm going to share with you really quickly what I got from the grocery store. Nothing big, just really quickly. I got a lens contact holder. I wanted a nice one, but in the grocery store, I really didn't care. My lens is separated off into two. And that happens every blue moon, and it's nice because it's kind of like getting a free pair of lenses. They're so thin, and when I went to take them out to clean them, they separated off into two. So I put them in the only lens case I had, and I couldn't take the ones that I have in now out but to clean them and put them back. So I got a little lens case just for that. And I found this little repair kit for glasses. I have reading glasses, and those things tear up. I tried these two drinks. I haven't tried these yet. I'm going to put them in the fridge, but I wanted to share that I got these. They're on sale for $2, and they are the um, McCafe Frappe brand. I believe that's a McDonald's brand because I've seen their coffee, um, the Keurig version of it. And the only other thing that I got was this little snack here, and that's because I want to open these up and try these. This is a hair snack. And I know that Stubbs makes a barbecue sauce, and this is called Sticky Sweet, and I'm believing... These are like some little cheese puffs. So on to the important thing. Now, what I got, and I will tell you this. I'm going to show you my almond blossom items first because the almond blossom, the rose, and the violet items were not a part of the fall sale. They took those off. I figured they were going to do something. It was too good to be true that we get the vanilla spice and the almond. These will probably go into a sale of their own, and if they do within the next couple of weeks, I will get a receipt, um, or an adjustment on my receipt. You guys hear me talk about that all the time. So the Almond Blossom, I went ahead and did the buy two, get one for this, and I do still want the cream, and the lotion looked like a bubble bath. It's lotion, but it's in this gray solid bottle. I did not get the violet lotion because I would have got that one anyway, even though it wasn't part of the sale. But if you guys remember when they came out with the second run of the champagne toast in those um, rectangular bottles, and they came out with, I don't know if it was cocktail dress or cocktail party, and then they came out with that pink one, that violet smells like one of those. So I did say in my Instagram post, if you liked either that pink one or the purple one, Give that violet a try and see if you think that smells similar. That's the only reason why I didn't get violet because I would have at least got a lotion. And I did get a lotion for the items that I wasn't really sure about or didn't really want. So the Almond Blossom is warm and cozy. It's sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid. Or, yeah, orchid and cashmere musk. And this right here does not smell like the almond vanilla to me. It also does not smell like the rice flour and shea because um, Patty said she thought it would smell something like that. Um, it does smell like almond. I do get almond out of the lotion, but I don't get the almond like the almond um, that's in like, what was it, Jergens had the cherry almond lotion. I don't get that kind of almond, and that is a different kind of almond. This is a more sweet vanilla down almond, I would say, and it does have vanilla orchid in it. But I still got this nonetheless. I do have a vanilla almond lotion and probably the gel. I'm not sure if I have the body spray. I could have one or the other. I'd have to go back through and see because I did box a lot of stuff up so that I can try to work on my older stuff. This stuff will go into a box as well. Or this set right here probably won't. I will probably most definitely try this um, in the next week or so. But I am very happy to have this. And as you can see, I got the shower gel. The lotion and the mist and again the violet the rose and the almond is not a part of the 595 sale and the rose for this is different I believe than the love rose under the aromatherapy set so that's these three right here the next full set that I got and you knew that I was going to because I said that I was and I probably should have put this bag on the floor um, is the vanilla spice vanilla now I was worried that this was probably gonna smell like um, the set that came out with cozy Sunday morning that um, I don't know if it was warm it was something cup of warmth. I was worried that it was going to smell like that and it doesn't really smell like that at all you can tell it's vanilla, but it is really like it's a cozied up vanilla for the winter. It's odd how it does smell different from the other vanillas. 
it does not smell like boardwalk vanilla clouds to me the notes say whipped vanilla ground cinnamon creamy tonka and golden honey I can't say right now that I get much cinnamon out of the lotion but I do like this it does smell creamy in fact it smells along the line to me like that winter wonderland that I had that was blue it smells like that so in this I got the lotion the body cream and I was careful not to get too many body creams because I'm working on some now I got the jelly scrub the body scrub and I asked um, one of the girls what the difference was and she actually put some on her hands and came over where I was it had a shine to it but she said it didn't feel sticky or anything like that and the way that she described it I said this might be a scrub that I might like to use for my hand care in nail care because some of my scrubs that I use in the bath I wouldn't necessarily use on my hands like the oily ones because I have dryness that occurs here lately right between my fingers where I'm using all those pocket bags at work and I take a scrub like that and you know I work it like this so if this is the kind that she described it as I will use this for my hand care I have a Zoya one that I use for hand care my other scrubs I do use as body scrubs and this is just so cute though my daughter might like this I'm gonna have to pick her up something because she likes acorns when she was little she always called them corn eggs I couldn't get her to say acorn and even though she's an adult now if we're together and we were a couple summers ago and I picked up one and I said quick what is this she said corn egg like she could never say egg corn and I think it's so funny so anytime I find anything that has egg corn on it or is an egg corn because I bought an egg corn at Pier 1 I give it to her so again I got the mist the shower gel and I love that this is blue I really do like that and if I didn't let you see this enough and I've got a thing with clouds. This almost looks like a cloudy beach, though. It's weird. This packaging to me looks like a cloudy beach with fall leaves. And it says on the back, crisp, sunshiny days, apple orchards open across the land, leaves all bright and everything all right. Because it's that time of the year when all your favorite ingredients are here. And I actually like that fluff. You've heard me say that I miss when they put fluff on stuff. I like that. I like it a lot and all of these say the same thing and the shower gel says shea butter vitamin E rich bubbly refreshing lather leaves skin fresh and clean so that's everything I got in this but I'm gonna see I sprayed some of these in the store and I didn't spray the vanilla one I sprayed the pink one that I'm gonna share with you I sprayed that um, champagne and honey I missed out this does smell good it smells like a vanilla um, a Victoria's Secret vanilla product from a while ago but I missed out on the apple and champagne honey I didn't get it at the time that it came out because I thought that it was going to be the same as all the other apple fragrances and I was wrong when I thought that I was very very wrong because it ended up being a scent that everybody loved and I ended up spraying a tester of it and I really really liked it it came out with the caramel aspen woods that you always hear me talk about that is another fragrance I regret that I didn't get I think I got one cream one lotion I had a small mist and I think I had a mini shower gel and that ended up being the best scent and I missed out on it because I didn't try it till a year after I had bought it because that was when my accumulation was beginning to be so big another thing that I missed out on you guys have heard me say that I got mad at Bath and Body Works one year and I boycotted them in my mind I boycotted them I didn't go in that store and buy nothing for two years and I always make jokes about it because we know they felt that right yeah they didn't care they didn't even know and I didn't know the girls in there like I know them now but what happened was me being mad it had something to do with vanilla sugar and something that happened and I was just so upset I thought I'm not shopping here no more well it turned out to bite me in the butt because when I did go back that second year they had fresh vanilla and it was leaving it was being discontinued and I only was able to get a spray a body cream a lotion I think one gel that was the best vanilla fragrance I missed my vanilla bean and I still love it and I still fuss about it but if I had a choice between the two I would take that fresh vanilla it had a milky vanilla coconutty scent that everybody loved and everybody knew you knew it when you smelled it 
I love that fragrance and I wish they would bring that one back. This has that same kind of undertone for me that had that richness in the fresh vanilla. And I wanted to make sure if I didn't get anything else that I got these three right here. The reason I've chosen the lotion, like I said, is I've got enough body creams. But I had to get a body cream in the vanilla and I still want it in the almond. And I probably still will go and get it in this. I'm just trying to target you guys know certain body creams now. And I figure don't get any more yet. But I'm going to go back because eventually they're going to put that other set on sale. So in this it says... Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, and Autumn Woods. Now between this one, this set right here, and between this Bright Autumn Blooms, something had the scent of Aqualina Pink Sugar or even the Amber Blush. Something, I don't know because I sprayed the green one further up my arm. I sprayed the apple one and I sprayed the pink one. And I tried to spray them far enough from each other, but I kept smelling something that put me in the mind of Honey Sweetheart, um, Aqualina Pink Sugar that you hear me talk about all the time. And it was one of these two. This right here, though, I'm very happy to have this. And I do have an apple set. It's not Farm Stand Apple that I have. It's another one. I think maybe Harvest Apple. I will probably give that away. Um, I don't know. I'll probably take it to work and give it to a resident or leave it in a resident's room or something or even ask someone if they want it because I'm going to keep this one and I probably won't use that when I haven't touched it yet. But this is this set right here and I'm very glad to have this and I think it might have been this one because I'm usually I know you guys I don't spray this stuff but yeah it was this one. I love this though and I'm very happy to have this so on to this one oh and look at this I love this packaging on to the next one I got the bright blooms and in the bright blooms I believe I picked up two pieces I picked up the lotion and I picked up because I wasn't sure if this was gonna be a repackage or something because I know that they tweak certain things, but I had, I forget what the pink one was that I had a while back um, that I said that I didn't like and I ended up trying to use it up. I think it was Enchanted Orchid. This kind of has that base note to me, not completely. It kind of smells like a cross between Enchanted Orchid and Thousand Wishes if it was toned down and mellowed out, but it does smell nice. It was nice enough that I did make sure that I picked up the lotion and the spray and you guys know that with your sprays even if you spray out because you would have to spray out a massive amount to make a dent in here you can spray this stuff and if you decide you don't like it you can take it back and trade it in for something else while the sales going on we wouldn't be able to trade it for something in the line where the sales not going on but let's say that I would have bought the five dollar miss while they were on sale and I didn't do that and I should have I could have took them back for whatever sprays that I wanted um, and this one right here is Warm Marigold Petals, Sandalwood, Sparkling Bergamot, and Cedar Leaf. My lotions last longer and I like these. I just wish that the tops were 100% flat because that would be nice. The shower gel in the bathroom and the lotion so that you can get it to go at the bottom. Also, be careful of your caps because these things, I have a lot of stuff in bags like my pocket bags and one little twist in the weight of things can cause those caps to come off. But I really do love this and I have bought more mist this past year and the last year than ever before because I used to never do that or I'd get the mini set. The last thing that I got and if I like that jelly scrub I will probably go back. Hopefully you can hear me. If I like the jelly scrub I will probably go back and get more. The last thing I got was this. I was trying to figure out if this smelled like the pear one that I got and I don't know the name of it because I bought some as a gift for someone. I had the little minis and I gave them a little gift and then I went back and got me the lotion. I'm not sure if I got the cream. I don't know if it was honey pear. It was something pear and it was out the last maybe the Christmas before last. It did come out with Magic in the Air whenever that was. When Magic in the Air debuted that pear set was out. I wanted to make sure this didn't smell like that. And this is, it's it has um, um, a fragrance kind of like that leaf one that I said I didn't like at first. That I said when I first smelled it, it smelled like somebody ripped open a leaf and, and you just smelled it. I can't believe I'm forgetting the name of this stuff. I just finished 
um, the little mini lotion in that fragrance. I can't think of the name of it, but hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. I can't believe it. I just did it in an empty um, haul, <laughs> that fragrance. So this right here, I went ahead and just got in these two because I have my three bottles of unscented oil of Olay and I also have the one bottle of the Dove oil of Olay and I also keep unscented bars of soap around every single thing that I have bath wise from the bath stores from Lush from whatever I keep those core items an unscented shower gel and unscented soap and an unscented lotion I keep those and when I can get my hands on it and unscented oil so again this is autumn pear slices cool air fresh picked apple and oak leaves and it was the notes that made me get worried it would smell like that so I don't know but I do like it nonetheless this is a fresh green scent I do like it a lot it doesn't smell like green tea and it doesn't smell exactly like that lotion but what I miss is their mist sleeves I wish they'd come out with some more I got one leaf one and it was really really pretty the next thing I got was a sweet cinnamon pumpkin I said I would go back and get it and I did and look at this I didn't even notice it has a little pumpkin on it now if you've made it this far and I haven't done this in a while I was supposed to be doing a video about why I do my giveaways the way I do you've heard me say that um, I did a giveaway and someone kind of did me wrong in it and I don't know how to word it which is why I haven't done it yet because I don't know if that would be like a story time because I've been watching people's story times but I had someone that thought they were taking advantage of my giveaway they thought you know that what they did was gonna I guess hurt my feelings and make me stop doing giveaways but it didn't they won fair and square was what they did after and the replies that I got and this has been a few years back that's why I'm kind of leery because I want to talk about it because even though I do my giveaways the way that I do them it didn't stop something like that from happening and I've been asked you know what I mean and that's why I want to do it. I'm just trying to figure out a diplomatic way to word that so anyway you made it this far you see I got this set right here I have this in several packagings and I gave a lot of it away this I did not purchase for me because I'm not crazy about it anymore and I will use up the one that I got but a lot of people really really like this fragrance so I thought I'd pick up a set of this for you guys um, this is going to be a little different than my usually with my giveaways i'll have you to leave a comment or put enter me and then i will draw the name from the box but in this case because i'm only going to hold this until probably about the ninth or tenth i don't know probably that monday after the ninth and i don't have a calculator to know when that is i mean i'm sorry a calendar i don't have a calendar to know when that is okay if the 9th of this is a Thursday that means that Monday is probably the 13th if that is correct I will choose a winner that Sunday evening that I get home from work if you would like to have this set you didn't get to get it or you're on a no buy and you want this set anyone who is missing the sale and you would like this set just leave me a comment below just tell me why you would like this set and if you can leave me a little leaf or a little pumpkin if you have those in your little picture thing leave that with your comment if you don't it doesn't mean anything it won't take anything away just leave a comment about why you'd like to win this set and I will choose someone that Sunday before that Monday now please make sure that I can get in contact with you because I had a winner my last giveaway and they had nothing there for me to contact them like you know they they um, I couldn't reach them I left the messages I did you know reach them later I didn't reach them they left a comment under my video and they let me know that they were in school and they had stuff going on and I felt bad because they won and I waited but I had to choose someone else and I've never had to do that before and I really felt horrible for that and if they would have left me some information even after once you know they knew that they were the winner and I had to pick someone else then I would have sent them something just as a thank you but if you like this set again just leave a comment as to why you would like to win this set or why you like it leave a little pumpkin or a little leaf emoji if you can if you can it doesn't make a difference and I will choose someone that Sunday which is probably the 12th if my dates are wrong guys I'm going from Thursday the 9th because I work that entire weekend but that Sunday that I get in after Thursday the 9th in case I'm saying the dates wrong I will choose a winner that Sunday 
And then if you can get me your information that Sunday or that Monday before 1 or 2 in the evening, I can mail your stuff off to you right then that Monday. So that is it. I hope that someone out there enjoyed this. And until the next time, everyone have a great day.